Purgatory by Tyler Childers is going to be played in standard tuning and it comes out of G shape formation. Uh, the intro, which is over a G chord, I've got my ring finger on the six string three fret, my pinky finger pulled back to the one string three fret, and then your second finger needs to be on the five string two fret. So you've got a traditional G chord here. And the intro begins with Tyler just strumming. Uh, let me go ahead and talk about the strumming pattern that I hear in this. That's pretty much the strumming pattern through the entire thing. There may be a, a little bit of slight variation on that, but... So that's a down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down. Uh, so either a down, 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 up, down, or down, 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 up, down, up. So just droning over the G. It does that for four counts. One, two, three, four, and then it goes. So what that is, is out of the, out of that you want to then emphasize the open four string and then, so you're emphasizing hitting the open four string and then you're going to keep your ring and pinky fingers where they are inside of this G shape, but you'll move with your second finger to hammer onto the four string two fret and then hit the open three string behind it and you repeat that. And then you come down and with your second finger you now hammer onto the open five string second fret. You do it twice and then back down to the G. So you've got. Actually, the first time through, it just hammers on on the five string two fret once and then immediately back into the G chord. Hit the uh, open three string and then the open four string and do that hammer on on four string two fret again to the open three, hammer uh, four string two fret, open three, and then the second time around, you hit the hammer on the five string two fret twice, and then back in the G. And then it goes. What that is, is you're hammering on the five string two fret, hitting the open four string, then hammering on four string two fret, and then hammering back down to the five string two fret. then back to the G chord and you can hear then this walk down. What that is is you're going to move with your ring finger to the four string three fret, hit that, and then just kind of strike down across the four string, the open three string, and then move with your second finger to the four string two fret. Do the same thing, hit, strike, hit, strike, and then open up the four string. So you've got and then back to the G chord. So those two parts were happening more up at speed about right there. All right, so once you get that, it walks up into the verse, which the verse is going to just start on a C chord. I've got my ring finger on the, on the five string three fret, second finger on the four string two fret, open three string, first finger on the two string one fret. And in here you can hear Tyler Childers lift up his second finger exposing the open four string and then hammering back down to the four string two fret. And then back to the G chord. And you can hear a little, little riff run right there out of the G chord. 
hit the open five, hammer on to the five string one fret with your first finger, hammer on to the five string two fret with your second finger, and then hit the open four. It's pretty quick, but that's what it is. Then walk back up to the C. Sometimes in the C you can hear him go. What that would be would be inside of the C chord, put your pinky finger down on the four string three fret, then lift it back up to where your second finger still is on the four string two fret, then open up the four string, and then hammer on five string two fret with your second finger, hit the open four string back on the G chord, which is mimicking what we did in the intro of but it's just inside of the full C chord. Sometimes in the C chord you can hear him go, which would be hammering on with your second finger to the three string two fret, open it back up, and then hammer on the four string two fret, and then open that back up and strike the four string and the open three string together and then back in the G chord. Then it comes up to a D chord. Sometimes in a D chord you can hear him lift his first finger off the third string second fret. Uh, the rest of this D chord is just first finger on the third string second fret, ring finger on the second string third fret, second finger on the one string two fret, strumming from the four string down. Out of the D chord, it moves to a C chord where you are going to leave your ring finger where it is on the two string three fret and then put your second finger on the five string three fret and your first finger on the four string two fret. And then back to the G chord, uh, which stopping on the G chord, he usually runs um, with his, instead of making a traditional G chord like we did in the intro, he usually uh, puts his second finger on the sixth string three fret, his first finger on the five string two fret, open four, open three, ring finger on the two string three fret, and pinky finger on the one, I'm sorry, uh, ring finger on the two string three fret, and pinky finger on the one string three fret. Um, and then that repeats over. So in the next to last round after the D, Instead of just stopping and counting for one, two, three, four, uh, as he's saying, Catholic girl, pray for me, you're my only hope for heaven, and then coming back into that stuff. Um, the next to last time through, there's that quick, really quick riff of, which I still, I'm having a lot of trouble getting that clean, but I'm almost certain that this is exactly what he's playing. Um, it's pretty quick and hard to pick out exactly what notes are getting played, but I finally have settled on this. I think these are the correct notes, and it's some variation of either being straight flat picked or hammer-ons and pull-offs, but I'll show you how I play it. So the riff begins with your ring finger on the sixth string, three fret. And then you're going to replicate that earlier G riff of that we did earlier. So uh, six string, third fret with your ring finger. Hit the open five string. Hammer on with your first finger to the five string two fret. Hammer on with your second finger to the five. Hammer on with your first finger to the five string one fret. Hammer on with your second finger to the five string two fret. So we've got. And then you're going to hit the open fourth string. And then. Put your second finger down on the four string two fret and then pull off and expose the open four string. So we've got and then hit the open three string. And then you're going to put your second finger down. So that's kind of the first part of it. And then So the back half of the riff, 
we're going to start by putting your second finger on the three string two fret and immediately sliding up to the three string four fret. You're then going to put your first finger on the two string three fret right behind it. And then you're going to come back and pluck where your second finger still is on the three string four fret. So we've got now in this, Tyler Childers just kind of lets his fingers fall back down towards the first fret of the second string because that's the next note. We've got, and then, uh, I say back uh, towards the first fret of the second string. You fall back down, but then you're going to move and grab with your second finger the second fret of the second string and then pull off to your first finger on the first fret of the second string. So we've got, and then you're going to go with your ring finger to the third fret of the third string, strike that, and then as you're putting your ring finger down, you need to also be putting down your second finger on the third string second fret so that you can pull off your ring finger to the third string second fret. So we've got. And then you're going to pull off your second finger and expose the open three string. So you've got. And then hit the open four string. Hammer on with your second finger to the four string two fret. So we've got. And then pull off your second finger to re expose the four string. So we've got. And then hit the open three string. And that's the end of that riff. Uh, after he hits the open three string, he just falls back down into the G chord of. All right, so that riff one more time through very slowly. All right, one more time. pretty clean. Uh, and I think that's all that you need to know about this song. So those are the chords, the movements, the progression, and that really tricky riff to Purgatory by Tyler Childers. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.